Hey guys, uh, I'm gonna quickly go over my super hot boy ghetto install of my Freedom Fi 5G Helium Hotspot and Outdoor Small Cell. So the kit I bought was from Moose Labs or something like that. I'll, I'll link it down below if I remember, but it comes with a Freedom Fi Hotspot, which is this device. You can also get a Bobber 500 from Bobcat. They are the two that currently support this, but what this is, in essence, it's a quad-core Intel small form factor PC, runs on 12 volts DC, has Ethernet in, gigabit Ethernet in, and it has three output ports on this side, two USB 3.2 Gen 1s, and a RS-232 console. You'll notice there is a uh, SMA connector. This does have a low RAN rack, 915 megahertz, uh, helium hotspot in it and that's required for proof of coverage but this is like the intermediary device that bridges between your internet connection and then this port right here is actually for your um, small cell is what it's called so there's indoor and outdoor right now during the genesis period the outdoor nets two and a half times as many blocks just because they're harder to uh, essentially be dishonest with Installation has to be certified with photos and a bunch of other things. This you can put wherever, really. I mean, Helium hotspots are... They're picky about where you mount them. Um, comes with a 1.2 dBi antenna. It's, of course, going to perform better for your Helium earnings if you get a nice LMR 400 cable and a 5.8 or an 8 dBi antenna mounted on your roof. But at least to start, I've got gigabit in coming from my LAN here. I have this connector coming out of port 2, which is for your small cells. You can either run one with an injector, or you can run up to six small cells with a switch. Either a PoE switch, PoE plus or plus plus, not regular 802.3 AF, that won't be enough power, or bandwidth, but you can run uh, AT or BT, PoE, um, from this into a switch out to your small cells, or each small cell will come with a PoE++ 802.3 BT 30 watt injector. So right now I've got this cord feeding into the LAN side of the injector, and I have one of these uh, Monoprice Slim Run cables, and I also have one of these flat ones for running through windows, but they both seem to work, um, for the record, but that will then give gigabit uh, ethernet and power out to your small cell. So for the small cell, I have an outdoor, like I mentioned. These were not cheap and kind of on the expensive side too. I think this kit alone with just the Freedom Fi, forget, forgive the fact I'm doing this in my kitchen, it recommends you start up and do it indoors um, before you actually register this. So anyway, outdoor, small cell, which is what this is called. Essentially your PoE hooks in there, comes with a gland. It's really designed for a round cable, but it does seem to seal up well enough with my flat cable and I'm gonna need that for now. Comes with a pull mount, does not come with any other mount. What I'm going to be using is a small satellite television. It's called a J-hook. You can get it at any home improvement store for about 20 bucks. And I'm gonna get it at least 15 feet off the ground and then level. That's all really important. So uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of that and then we'll get back to it and I'll kind of go over what it requires for setup. Okay, slight change, but I have the slim run cable now hooked in to the output port. We've got it running over here. To the injector right there and then up here and this is not how i'm going to leave this permanently just for the record but i need to get this thing online and earning as quickly as possible and i have it outside with this flat cable right here and there is my small cell so in order to hold on one second actually. oh all right in order to get that registered, you actually need to go to your Freedom Fi uh, homepage on your web browser. So either go to your local IP address for your Freedom Fi or freedomfi.local through the actual management um, for your hotspot in the Helium app. So you should be able to come through here. Everything on this page should always be green. That has nothing to do with your 5G. And then over on radio dashboard, this is, you should see something here. If you see nothing, it means your small cell is not connected properly to your Freedom Fi, or there's a problem with the registration of your actual Helium hotspot. So down here, that button for register hotspot, register, register radio actually, that should be yellow. 
Um, and that's where you'll actually go through and submit your photos of the height and the azimuth, which is an NOAA website that actually worked pretty well. And then you can just use the inclinometer in your cell phone for the rest of the photos. So I have submitted now, but a fun fact, I set this up yesterday inside in the kitchen downstairs just to figure out what was going on, and it was earning Genesis rewards before I put it outside or registered it. So while the Genesis period is still going on, don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure you could just put the small cell anywhere where it's going to get a GPS lock, plug it in to your Freedom Fi, and you should earn Genesis rewards in theory. So I don't know. I'm still glad I, I put it up outside in the meantime, and I would certainly recommend you do the same. Once my roofer comes, I'm going to have them put it on the roof in the exact same orientation that it is now, and I'll call it good at that point. But uh, that's what's happened so far. Another tool you can use in the meantime to see if it's working, you can navigate over to the Explorer and type in your regular Helium Hotspots name, and you can come over and you'll see a new tab that says 5G Statistics. So if that says active, you're in good shape.